Hey, it's St. Louis Post-Dispatch restaurant critic Ian Probe with Off the Menu, which, once again, we're now bringing to you on Wednesday as a preview for the week's review, which will be published online on Thursday. This week, I visit Union Loafers, which opened in September in the city's Botanical Heights neighborhood, which is just north of the Botanical Gardens. Now, Union Loafers has been gestating for about five years, uh, ever since bread baker Ted Wilson met his future business partner Sean Netzer when both men worked at The Good Pie at its original Midtown location. If you ever had Wilson's bread at The Good Pie or elsewhere, uh, you have probably been eagerly anticipating Union Loafers since Wilson and Netzer announced their plans a few years ago. It's a retail bakery on one side. Uh, you can get loaves such as the Signature Light and Mild, uh, which is naturally fermented to go. There's also ciabatta, baguettes, uh, rye bread. Uh, there's snacks like pretzels. There is also a cafe side to Union Loafers, which is a brief restaurant menu, but um, one that is overseen by Brian Lagerstrom, who most recently worked at Niche, uh, where he had a special knack for working with fermented foods. Sandwiches include uh, the roasted pork, pork loin with uh, house-made garlic mayo, um, brilliant yellow, not house-made mustard, uh, crisp house-made pickles. Uh, there's also a sandwich that takes the classic Reuben and instead of corned beef, uh, uses smoked beets. Uh, it's a really fascinating sandwich. Uh, if nothing else, read my review to find out how that turns out. Uh, there's also, you know, a salad. There's a soup of the day. Generally, when I was there, it was a uh, kale and garbanzo soup. So again, very brief menu. I think five sandwiches, a salad, a soup. Uh, you can do a half sandwich for a couple of the sandwiches and soup or salad. Uh, it's a really fascinating addition to the St. Louis dining scene. And I look forward to you reading my review on stltoday.com on Thursday or pick up a copy of Go This Weekend. And I will be back next week with the final review of 2015.